Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of an enormous American phone deal. But first, China's economy is strengthening after a two-quarter slowdown, with a gauge of manufacturing rising to a 16-month high in August, as new orders jumped and overseas demand rebounded. The official PMI was at 51.0, higher than expected. Japan's consumer prices increased for the, at the fastest pace since 2008 in July as energy costs rose and Prime Minister Abe makes progress in pulling the, his economy out of 15 years of deflation. Most experts didn't think it would be this high. That fastest pace is just 0.7% over the past year, driven by food and fuel. Without those two, there was still deflation, although it was at its lowest rate in years. India's economic growth slowed sharply in the second quarter as industrial output stumbled, adding to the country's woes as it struggles with a plunging economy and rising inflation. Going the other way, Brazil's second quarter growth exceeded analysts' forecasts. It was agriculture that helped there, rather than mining. Over the weekend, there's been an enormous US phone deal. Verizon has agreed to pay Vodafone $130 billion for its 45% share of their cellular joint venture. Vodafone now has a gigantic cash war chest. The US is in a long weekend at the moment, Labor Day, signalling that the end of its summer holiday season and news will be scarce from its markets till Wednesday. Equity markets will be pleased to get August behind it as the S&P has lost more than 4% over the month. But the first week of the new month could be shaky too with decisions on Syria to be made and an uncertain US jobs report to be released. In Australia, it is the final week of their federal election campaign There is an RBA rate review tomorrow, but no change is expected given the politicking going on this week. New Zealand dollar starts the month on a two-month low at 77.2 US cents, 86.9 Aussie cents and the TWI is down to 73.3. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.